Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi dear students, it's me Afsal. First of all, I hope you all are safe and secure at your home. From previous class, we had started a grammar. How to change the masculine to feminine. After that, I had given you a homework to change the masculine to feminine. Did you remember that? Today, let us discuss that homework. Are you ready? Okay. I am going to read one paragraph. Laha khata mujuha dakhila baitihi falam yajduhu wa kharaja minal baiti ba'ithan anhu وَبَدَعَ يَنْظُرُ أَمَامَ الْبَابُ سَعَلَهُ الْجَارُ يَا جُحَا لِمَاذَا أَنْتَ فِي الْخَارِجِ فِي هَذَا الْوَقْتِ أَرَاكَ بَعِثًا عَنْ شَيْءٍ قال جُحا الله خاتمي داخل البيت والله لا ممتل فيه لعل الخاتم قد خرج I had given this paragraph to you for changing masculine to feminine. You can see in this paragraph one boy's name. What is that? Juha. Please change this Juha. Then instead of that you had put it there. Hiba, a girl's name. If you change this subject you want to change that verb and pronounce everything, want to change to feminine. Isn't it? Let us look. Allah khatam juha dakhila bayti falam yajduhu. Allah, I am going to write that one. Allah khatam juha. Instead of juha, please. Right there, hiba. La khatamu hiba. La khatamu hiba. A girl's name, feminine. Dakhila baitihi. Dakhila, dakhila baiti. Dakhila baitihi. What's the meaning? Laha, lost. Khatam, ring. Laha khatam hiba. Hiba's ring is lost. Hiba's ring is lost. Dakhila baitihi. Inside his home. That is correct. Inside her home. So which letter want to change their he? This one he. So you want to add their ha. First change it. Hiba. We change it instead of juha. Then here also. Baitihi. Not baitiha. Her house. Is it clear? Next. وَخَرَجَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ بَعِثًا أَنْهُ Juha, he came, he came out of house for searching. How will change this sentence to feminine? He came out. Look. وَخَرَجَ وَخَرَجَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَخَرَجَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ Wakaraja minal baiti. He came out. How can I change this one? Here feminine, no? So how can I change this verb? You want to put one tu. That's needed. Look. Kharaja. How can I change it? Kharajat. 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 Wakarajat. She came out minal baiti of house Baithan and who for searching no need of change Baithan and Baithan and next Bada wa bada yanduru amam al babi Juha started searching in front of his house how can change to feminine look Subject is hiba, feminine. So, bada'a or bada'at. Bada'at. One ta is needed. Bada'at. Next. Yanluru. 
he is searching. So how can change it to feminine? Because here he buys a feminine, no? So how can change it to this feminine, this verb? Tanduru. Please put one ta. Tanduru. Wabada'at tanduru amam al-babi. Amam al-babi, same. Amam al-babi. Amam al-babi. Badahat, she started Tanduru for, to search Amam al -bab in front of house, in front of the door. Okay, next. Sa'alahul Jaru. A neighbor asked him. Asked him means Juha. Asked him. So here, how can change that one? Asked him. Is it correct? No. How can change that one? Who? You want to change to Ha. Look. Sa'ala, who or ha? Sa'ala ha. Asking her, who? Al-jaru. Al-jaru. Neighbor asked her. One change. Sa'ala ha. Okay? It's also change. Okay. Sa'ala ha asked her. Al-jaru. Who? A neighbor. Okay. Next one. Ya juha. Instead of that, ya hiba. Ya, ya, hiba, ya, hiba. Limada anta fil khariji fi hal al waqt. Neighbor is asking. Limada anta fil khariji fi hal al waqt. Why you are in outside? Outside in this time? Why you are in outside in this time? So look, I am going to write that sentence. Limada, limada. Anta fil khariji. Limada anta fil khariji. Fi hadal waqt. Fi hadal waqt. This sentence is correct or not? Any change is needed? Limada anta fil khariji. Fi hadal waqt. Why you are in outside in this time? Yes, change is needed. Because... Limada anta. Anta means anta, anti. Same meaning, you. But anta we can use for masculine. Anti we can use for feminine. So here subject is hibano. So uh, we can change this anta to anti. Okay. Anti. Anti. First change. Next step. Next one. Arakaba is an unshain. That neighbor is saying that Arakaba is an unshain. I think you are searching something. Araka. I think you are Sir Ba is an unshain searching something. So I am going to write that sentence. Araka. Araka Ba is an Ba is an unshain. Unshain. Araka ba is an unshain. I think you are searching something. Is it correct? Look, araka. What's the meaning? I think you are. Ka ki. What's the meaning? Ka ki. That's meaning you. But ka we can use for masculine. Ki we can use for feminine. So here subject is feminine. No? So we can use here ki. Okay? Ki. One change. Araki. Next, kala juha. Instead of that, we can add the kala hiba. Is it correct? Look. Kala hiba. Kala hiba. Hiba said. Correct this one? No. Hiba is a feminine subject. So, we want to add the one. T. Kalat. Kalat hiba. Hiba said. One change. Next, what she said? Laha khatami dakhil al bayti. Laha khatami dakhil al dakhil al bayt. Dakhil al bayt. Same meaning. What we studied? My ring is lost inside the house. Wallalamu. Wallalamu. Wallalamu mumtalium fihi. 
mumtali'un fihi laha khatami dakhil al bait what's meaning my ring is lost inside the house wallahu la mumtali'un fihi there are full of darkness la'alla al khatama la'alla al khatama khatama kad kharaja al khatama kad kharaja kad kharaja the ring may have gone out no need of changing to feminine okay once more i am going to read this sentence okay now we changed this sentence to feminine and paragraph so i am going to read laha khatamu hiba hibas ring is lost dakhila baiti ha inside her house okay wa kharajat she came out min al baiti of the house baitan anhu for searching badat she started tanluru searching amam al babi inside the door sa'alahal jaru sa'alahal jaru sa'alaha means asked her who al jaru jar means neighbor she asked her he asked her ya hiba ho hiba limada anti fil kharij fi hadha al waqt why you are in outside in this time so anti anti we use it why hiba is a feminine next araki ba isan an shayin i think you are you means that's mean hiba so we changed here araki araki ba isan an shayin i think you are searching something kalat hiba that time hiba she replied kalat she replied that's why we added the t kalat la khatami dakhil al baiti my ring is lost inside the house wallahu la mumtalun fi there are full of darkness la al khatama kad kharaja the ring may have gone out which are the changes hiba we added instead of juha so baitihi we changed baitiha her house wa kharajati he came out so kharajati she came out next day badat Bada he started. Bada that she started. Tanluru, Yanluru he is searching. Tanluru she is searching. Next is Saala ha asked her, but Saala who asked him. Next is Ya Hiba instead of Ya Juha or Juha. Limada anta why you are Limada anti here because Hiba is a feminine. Next step Araki I I think you are. you means hiba that's why araki next is kalat hiba hiba said that's why hiba say feminine that's why we added the t kalat okay in 14th page you can see one activity nakrahu wa nunakish nakrahu wa nunakish nakrahu wa nunakish what's meaning qara means qara read nakrahu let us read wa nunakish let us discuss nakrahu wa nunakish total meaning it is read and discuss okay i am going to read this paragraph are you ready okay an abi huraira radiyallahu anhu qala جاء رجل الى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله من احق الناس بحسن صحابتي قال امك قال ثم من قال امك قال ثم من قال امك قال ثم من قال ابوك Now we are going to study a hadith. What's meaning hadith? Hadith say holy words of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We can call them hadith. Okay, hadith a holy words, holy words of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 
Okay. Now let us discuss this meaning. An Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu. An Abi Huraira. Abi Huraira. Did you hear that too? name? Abi Huraira is a companion of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have more companions. One of them famous person is Abi Huraira. Abi Huraira. An Abi Huraira, that's mean this Abi Huraira reported this hadith. An Abi Huraira, in front of hadith, you can see the same word. An Abi Huraira, An Ibn Masud, An Umara, like that. That's mean An Abi Huraira, that person reported this hadith. That's mean An Abi Huraira. Abi Huraira is a companion of Prophet Muhammad. This Abi Huraira reported this hadith. Okay, what's the meaning? Uh, what's the mean of this uh, uh, Abi Huraira? Abi Huraira reported this hadith. Clear? An Abi Huraira. Abi Huraira reported this hadith. Kala. Kala means said. Kala said. Abi Huraira reported this hadith. Kala. He said. Ja'a. Ja means Ja'a. Came. Ja'a. Came. Who came? Rajulun. Rajulun means? Rajule. A man, he came ilan nabi. Ila means to. An nabi means nabi, prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, messenger. That's mean Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ilan nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ja'a came. Rajulun, a man, he came ilan nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Once more, an Abi Huraira, Abi Huraira reported. Kala, he said, Ja'a came, Rajulin, a man, ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fakala, then that man, he said, that man, he said, Ya Rasulallah, he called sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulallah, Ya means, oh, Rasulallah, Rasul means prophet, yes, Rasul, prophet, Allah means Allah, Rasulallah means Prophet of Allah. Ya Rasulullah, O Prophet of Allah. That man, he came, then he said, Ya Rasulullah, O Prophet of Allah, Man ahakkun nasi bi husni sahabati. That man, he is going to ask a good question. What is that? Man ahakkun nasi bi husni sahabati. That's mean, to whom? I want, I want to keep a good, a good attachment among people. Once more, to whom I want to keep a good attachment among people. In Malayalam, we can say, "Janangalil vechye chum kudel." Yan adupang kani ke endu To whom? I want to keep a good attachment from among people. Among people. Kala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he asked, Kala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied, Kala, replied, asked, uh, said, Ummuka, Ummuka, your mother. Ummuka means your mother. Kala, again asked, again, Asked that man, he asked the first time. That time, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Ummuka, your mother. Next time, Kala again, he said, That man, he said, Summa man, then who? First mother, then who? Who next? Summa mean, that's mean, who next? Kala, that time, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Ummuka, your mother. Ummuka, your mother. Kala, that man, he asked again, Summa man, first, second, mother. Summa man, who next? Kala, he asked again, Summa man, who next? Kala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied third time, Ummuka, your mother. Ummuka, your mother. Kala, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ummuka, your mother. Kala, that man, he asked again, Summa man, who next? Then who? 
قال صلى الله عليه وسلم ابوك your father three times صلى الله عليه وسلم same answer he said same answer fourth when he asked it fourth time صلى الله عليه وسلم answered your father once more i am going to read this hadith and meanings an abi huraira abi huraira is a companion of صلى الله عليه وسلم ان ابي هريره ابي هريره ريبورتد ذس حديث قال هي سيد جاء كيم رجل امان الى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تو بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال ذن سيد يا رسول الله او بروفيت اوف الله او بروفيت اوف الله من احق الناس به سن صحابتي تو هوم اي وانت تو كيب ا جود اتاتشمنت فروم people among people qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied ummuka your mother qala again that man asked thumma man who next qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam ummuka your mother qala then again asked that man thumma man who next qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied ummuka your mother fourth time that man he asked qala he asked again thumma man who next qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam abuka your father you can see the one question a small question limada qarrara nabi ummuka fi jawabi thalath marrat limada qarrara nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ummuka fi jawabi thalath marrat meanings why did the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeat your mother three times in his reply in his answer once more limada karrara an-nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ummuka fi jawabi thalath marrat why did the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeat your mother three times in his answer why the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeat this word ummuka your mother your mother same answer you know that that to teach us sallallahu alaihi wasallam he wish he want to teach us the mother's rank mother's position is the highest position among people from society to teach that one mother she has a good position great position among society among people sallallahu alaihi wasallam he want to teach this thing that's why sallallahu alaihi wasallam he answered three times mother you are mother you are mother you are mother okay this meaning is very important i am going to read that question limada karrara nabi ummuka fi jawabi thalath marrat Why did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeat your mother three times in his answer? I am going to write that question. Limada karrara nabiyyu sallallahu alaihi wasallam ummuka ummuka في جوابه ثلاث مرات ثلاث مرات what's the meaning why did the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeat your mother three times in his answer okay what is the answer to teach us that the mother's rank is the highest among people i'm going to write in arabic answer li ta'limi li ta'limi to teach anna anna martabata al-ummi ummi هي العليا هي العليا هي العليا 
بين الناس بين الناس what's the meaning لتعليم أن مرتبة الأم هي العليا بين الناس to teach that the mother's rank is the highest among people I'm going to read this question and answer لماذا قرر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أمك في جوابي ثلاث مرات why did the prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم repeat your mother three times in his answer answer لتعليم أن مرتبة الأم هي العليا بين الناس to teach that the mother, mother's rank is the highest among people. This question and answer, you have to write it in your notebook. That's very important. After that, you can see, Natulu wanafhamu. Natulu wanafhamu. Natulu wanafhamu means, let us read, let us recite. Natulu wanafhamu, let us recite the Quran. One twenty-three and twenty-four ayats from Surah Al-Isra. Did you hear Surah Al-Isra? From that Surah, twenty-three and twenty-four ayats here mentioned. This ayat is including about parents, about family. I am going to read this Surah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقال ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وكل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناء الذل من الرحمة وَكُنْ رَبِّ رَحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا Okay. Next class, you have to find out the meaning of these 23 and 24 ayats from Surah Al-Isra. These ayats meanings you have to find out and write it in your notebook. That's your homework. I'm going to write that homework in the board. Homework. Find out. Find out the meaning of 23 and 24th ayats ayats from surah al-isra surah isra surah isra find out the meaning of 23 and 24th ayats from surah al-isra now we are going to wind up today's class I think everyone has understood today's class. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. I will clear your doubts, inshallah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum.